Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a full face look using only high-end products and I'm very excited to try that out today. I have several new products and some um, older products that I love and I'm just excited to put it all on today and show you how these products apply. So let's get started. The very first product that I'm going to apply today is a um, lip balm to plump my lips and get them ready for the last uh, step which will be my lip of the day and the high-end um, lip balm that I'm using, this is actually kind of a tinted lip balm, is going to be the V Saint Laurent and this is the Volupt Tint in Balm in shade 1. This is a tester that I purchased off of eBay. Um, these run about $35 to $36. I'm just going to go ahead and get this on my lips. It gives a very shiny appearance. And it's not as full on color as I would like for um, a lipstick, but it's nice to prep my lips for the final step, which is usually my uh, lip. So then the next product that I'm going to apply is a new product, and this is an Estee Lauder moisturizer. Um, this is the Nutritious Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Moisture Cream, and it comes in this box. Um, so the claims are that it's intense all day hydration, precision crafted super pomegranate complex now with two times pomegranate concentrate. It protects skin with antioxidant power, gently detoxifies skin while infusing it with moisture for super hydrated, plumped, glowing skin. So I'm really excited to try this. Um, I definitely love Estee Lauder moisturizers and I have used them in the past. And so it comes in this beautiful red packaging. It has a silver top. And um, I also have a night cream in this, so I'll be excited to try that as well. Um, you can apply this both AM and PM, but I also ordered the night cream, so it comes packaged very nicely with this wonderful lid. And I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape that top off there to make sure all the moisturizer's inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and apply. So it's this nice, creamy texture, beautiful white creamy texture. And let's see, the smell is very nice it smells very fruity i've used estee lauder moisturizers in the past and i've really liked their texture and just the overall creaminess of them they're definitely a higher price point and i think that you can definitely get some drugstore alternatives that are you know very comparable but since this video is all about a higher end look i am going to apply mostly all high-end products. There may be a couple of products that I don't have a high-end item available. So that's the first product, and I really like the way that feels and almost kind of has a cooling texture to it. And then for um, the eye cream, I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Revitalizing Supreme Plus, and this is their Global Anti-Aging Cell Power Eye Balm. So this is actually a little travel size container that I have, and I don't have much left. But I'm going to use that today as my eye cream. That would be nice to have an Estee Lauder eye cream to match the moisturizer that I have on today. So I'm just going to get that all over. A little tiny bit, not much left here in the packaging. But I definitely think this would be a repurchase. Um, I have a nighttime eye balm that I like to use. But I definitely think this would be a repurchase as... Estee Lauder just has some really nice um, creamy textures you know they just really it feels luxurious going on the skin and it really feels like it's um, doing something good for your skin so I really really like that um, then the next product I'm going to apply is a high-end primer and the primer that I'm using today is a beautiful look at this beautiful um, packaging it's got a gold lid on it and then look at these like pearls I mean it it's not pearls but it's the I can get the camera to focus on it. It's just, it's so neat. I love this. This is by Guerlain, or Guerlain. I think it's called G-U-E-R-L-A-I-N. This is their Meteorites base, and it's the light diffusing primer. Um, so it kind of, if you, it, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it actually, it's kind of like those, these little gel beads are suspended in a liquid. So I'm really excited to try that today. I'm going to get a little bit of that here. So it's got a nice pump. I'm just going to pump some of that out. So I can get this. This is my first time using it, so I'm having to pump it a couple of times here. 
me see here. Here we go. So it comes out kind of like a light, it looks like a light, almost like a light tan color. And it feels very liquidy. And I'm assuming that the, those little gel balls are suspended in this liquid and then when you pump it out, it looks like it pumps out into this kind of liquidy texture. Feels very smoothing. And I'll be honest, the packaging caught me on this one too. I mean, I just thought, gosh, that looks like, I mean, and it looks so nice just sitting out on your, your makeup stash or your makeup desk, your makeup vanity. That just looks so pretty with the, the cap like that. And it's got their emblem right here. It says Blur Line on it. I just, that's so intriguing. I love packaging like this. I love, you know, that type of thing. I just think it's so neat. So it's kind of fun to have that sitting out here on the makeup vanity. My makeup, actually my makeup, I have an L-shaped desk, so it makes it nice. So I'm just letting this sink into my skin. Once this is all synced in, then I'm going to go in with my foundation of the day. And the high-end foundation that I'm using today is my Lancome. And this is the Tint Idol Ultra Wear. And it has a broad spectrum SPF 15, claims to be up to 24 hour color wear and comfort and it's transfer resistant. I am wearing the shade 110 Ivory. Um, I have tried this product before. I do feel like it is very long wearing. Um, I've never worn it 24 hours, so I cannot, you know, uh, uh, comment on that claim, but I do know that it's very long wearing. It's definitely a foundation that I like to wear if I'm wanting a good staying power, something that's going to last at least eight to 10 hours without a lot of transfer, without a lot of, you know, um, touch-ups throughout the day. So um, again, this has a, a pump, which I appreciate. I love a pump. I think a pump is so amazing when it comes to um, foundations. It's just easier to handle. And for, I don't have the highest end foundation brush, but I am going to use my Sephora. This is the Pro Slanted Buffing Brush in number 88. It's a very dense, very full um, brush. And I thought I would use that today. This is definitely a higher price point foundation brush. So I'm just going to go ahead and start applying the foundation to my skin with this brush. Again, this is a very um, dense brush, so you can get a lot of coverage quickly. Um, if you're looking for a comparable brush to this that's not as expensive, um, I would highly recommend the Echo Tools. This is the Echo Tools Ultimate Buff Brush. You can find this at Walmart and Ulta, and it comes in a three-pack. Very similar. It has those very dense bristles across the top where they're densely packed in. And I just feel like if you're wanting, if you're wanting full coverage and maximum coverage, um, it's nice to use a brush like this because you're really going to get full coverage with such dense bristles. There's not a lot of space for the liquid or the foundation to seep into the other brushes. I love Sigma F80 and F88 as well. Those are wonderful brushes. Um, but sometimes the foundation can kind of seep down into the bristle, bristles and you just don't get quite as bit of full coverage quickly. If you're wanting full coverage quickly, a dense brush will definitely get it. Dense brushes are also extremely wonderful when you're applying any type of stick foundation because they really seem to give you the fullest coverage in the shortest amount of time. So I'm getting a little bit more on the brush um, just to make sure and conceal and define. This is a really nice brush from Sephora. I love the way it feels. It's extremely soft on my skin. Feels really nice going on. And I just really enjoy the kind of coverage it gives. And then I'm also going to go back in with a concealer today. So as you can tell, that was maybe a pump. I was about two pumps and it covered up all my redness nicely, all my discoloration. And I think we'll just leave it at that. Um, also the Lancome foundation has this beautiful rose on the cap. It has a flower emblem right there and I just think that's beautiful. Very, very nice packaging to the higher end. So for the higher end concealer, I'm going to be using my Giorgio Armani concealer. This is the uh, Power Fabric concealer in shade 3.5. That print is so tiny on the bottom there, it's sometimes hard to read. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get, this is, comes with a doe foot applicator. I'm going to get this underneath my 
under eye to conceal dark circles. I'm going to take it down like this to conceal as much down here as well. I'm also going to be taking it around the nose, taking it up here. I like to put some right in here. And I also like to add some down in here. And I just used, without dipping back into the product here, I'm just using what's on that brush. So this is definitely a high-end concealer. This one's around, um, I bought mine on Sephora, and I'm, if I remember correctly, I'm thinking it was around the $20 range. It may have been a little more than $20. And the foundation's about $45 to $50. I don't have exact figures. So I'm just going to go ahead and buff this in. And definitely a nice concealer. I mean, I feel like it really covers up the dark circles nicely. And the awesome thing, though, is you don't really have to spend this kind of money to get this kind of coverage. The drugstore has several choices that are extremely comparable to this to get the fullest coverage possible. L'Oreal Infallible is a line that you cannot go wrong with. The L'Oreal Infallible Foundation and the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer are amazing. And it would be about half the price. I think for me, I just like to apply high-end products sometimes because it just really does kind of give you the feeling of luxury. You feel like you're really putting luxurious moisturizers and foundations on your skin. And sometimes that's just fun to do. You know, it's just nice to kind of have that more luxurious feeling when you have the extra time to put on makeup and really play with the whole entire look. Um, so now that I have that on, I am going to go in with a uh, powder. And the powder that I found, um, this is definitely a more high end, is my Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation in Fair. This is a beautiful powder. I absolutely love Laura Geller's baked powder. Her, her blushes are amazing. Her bronzers are amazing. Um, but it's basically a baked, it's a baked um, powder. I'm trying to get the lighting correct here. So it's a baked powder and it has all these different swirls in it. You can actually wear this alone as just a foundation, but I always like to use this as a topper. So I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques powder brush. This is not a high-end powder brush but <laughs> this is definitely very affordable but I just wanted to grab it because it's right here um so I'm just swirling the brush in that and then I'm going to tap that into my skin to set this this is a beautiful powder it has just a little touch of radiance a little bit of glow and kind of adds that glowy warmth to the skin which I love um all of her her bronzers are amazing her any of her baked, the baked powders, baked bronzers, baked blushes are so beautiful. And I would highly, highly recommend them. I'm just making sure to get the foundation set. And this is definitely more high end, but again, that's just beautiful, beautiful packaging. And it's, um, you know, the, the swirls in there are just so nice. So that's going to be for the powder. Now for uh, bronzer, I want to use one of my new ones that I've been loving lately, and this is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in Fair to Light. This is a perfect bronzer if you are fair skin tone like I am, if you're fair to light skin toned, and you're looking for a bronzer that's not too dark, not too brown, you know, not too muddy looking. Highly recommend the Bare Minerals Fair to Light. This is beautiful. So I'm opening the packaging here. It comes with a mirror, which is really nice. Get that little smudge off. Comes with this mirror, which is really nice. And then um, what you have is this beautiful bronzer. So let me see if I can get the lighting correctly. So if, as you can see, it's not 
it's just beautiful. It's the right shade for my skin tone. It's not too dark. It just kind of gives that added little bit of, you know, depth and warmth there that you would want for a bronzer, especially when you're light skinned, because I think when you're fair to light skin like I am, it is so difficult um, to find a bronzer that actually will work with your skin tone and not, you know, make you look like you put mud on your face or something like that. Um, I have ran into that so many times in the past and I just find that to be very, very frustrating. So um, this is really nice. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it's just a beautiful light. I'm trying to get it to show up. It's just a beautiful light texture. Let me see if maybe if I put it, it's kind of hard to see. I was trying to get a, I was trying to get a swatch of it. It's kind of hard to see it though, but it's right there. And so you can tell it's just kind of a light brown, really, really nice. So what I'm going to do is get some of that on my brush and then we're just going to go around the perimeter of the face here. And I think it just deepens up fair skin tone just slightly, but not enough to, you know, it looks like the sun just barely kissed you. Like you've just barely been out in the sun. And I just love that, you know, but it's perfect. It's so perfect for fair skin tones. So I've been loving this one. This is a love. I like Bare Minerals. I mean, they have, they've always had really good products and things that are just great for your skin tone. So I'm just gonna getting a little bit of that on my skin tone just to kind of bronze me up, mainly around the, the you know, my forehead is what I like to do mainly with that. And then for uh, blush, I'm gonna be using this beautiful new blush. It's by MAC. It's their Mineralized Blush, and this is in the shade called Love Thing. And this is a beautiful pink, kind of a mauve. It's a beautiful mauve shade. It's got a little bit of shimmer in it. Just gorgeous. So for that, I'm going to be taking my Flower Beauty Blush Brush, dipping that into the powder here, and then tapping that off because what I found with this is extremely pigmented. So I'm going to tap it right here and then tap it right here. And we're going to get that all blended in. This is a beautiful blush. Um, I actually had not experimented too much with MAC blushes in the past, but I had heard a lot of good reviews on these. So I decided I wanted to pick up a few for myself and wow, it, everybody's right. These are amazing. The, the pigment is beautiful. These remind me a lot of my Milani baked blushes and also the Laura Geller baked blushes. I mean, the pigment is there. It's so pretty. I just love it. I love this color too, this color called Love Thing. But you definitely just want to, you know, kind of barely tap your brush into it because you will definitely get a lot of pigment. So I just barely tap my brush into it and then apply it to both cheeks off of that one swipe. And I think it's plenty enough color. Now for highlight, um, I'm going to use my... Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush in F35. I'm going to go in with a highlighter from Lancome that I re recently purchased. This is a new line. It's called Le Monochromatique. And this is in the shade, um, it looks like Eclat. E-C-L-A-T, Eclat. So it's kind of this beautiful champagne highlighter. And as you can tell, the packaging is gorgeous. We have this... Um, same insignia. What's cool about it is the foundation that I just applied today also has that same, well, if I can get the lighting right, it has the same insignia. So this has that the same flower emblem inside, which is cool. It's there and then it's on this. And that's, that's of course, a insignia of Lancome's. But I just love the color. Let me see if I can get a better, as you can tell, it's just this really pretty light champagne color. So I'm gonna use my tapered highlighter just to get a little bit of this on. And we're gonna just get some glow action right here on the cheekbones. Oh yes, that looks so nice. I'm thinking this is gonna be gorgeous. Very gorgeous. I love that glowy highlight to the skin, the top of the cheekbone. I'm all about it, folks. I'm all about it. So this is really fun. I'm enjoying this look a lot. 
I want to make sure I get some significant highlight. Loving that. Beautiful. So now that I've got those applied, um, I do want to go in with my Milani Easy Brow Automatic Eye Pencil and Natural Taupe just to get my eyebrows set for the day. And then I'm going to be sharing with you a eye palette that I've been loving. And it's also high end. It's very expensive. But it's by a brand that I just absolutely love, which is called Viseart. I don't know if anybody's any one of you out there have heard of them, but they're definitely a higher end brand, but they create eyeshadows that are absolutely amazing. Pigments wonderful, buttery smooth. It's just a really good eyeshadow. And I've ha I have several of theirs that I've used in the past, and this is a newer one that I picked up recently from Sephora. But I've just absolutely been loving the uh, just how it applies. So I'm gonna go ahead with my um, my new Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I was talking about this in a previous video that I'd ordered this on Ulta's 21 Days of Sale. This is the anti-aging. And so you just twist off the cap and you have this little doe foot applicator. And I'm just gonna get a little bit of that on both eyelids. So we can set my eyelids for eyeshadow action. So I've heard a lot of really good reviews on that eyeshadow primer and I've just been really anxious about it and wanting to try it. And I like the way that it feels. It feels like it really just kind of gives your eyes, um, your eyelids a nice smooth base for makeup application. And the shade's just a neutral skin tone, tone shade. So for the palette that I'm talking about, it's this one by Viseart and this is called a it's in shade 09 Bijou Royal. So Bijou Royal is the shade or the name of the palette. And here are the shades. And isn't that beautiful? You've got blues, you've got a green, you've got several pops of pink and berry, which I love, and then some nice highlight shades. So this is going to be a really fun pal palette to work with. And got an itch right there. <laughs> and um, so I'm going to go in with my normal... Um, makeup brushes. Uh, let me see here. So I'm going to try the Morphe. This is my Morphe M124. It's a flat shader brush. And I'm going to start out with getting a a lighter, one, this lighter pink shade here. I'm going to put this on the lid. We're going to put this on this portion of the lid because I want to pop a pink today. I'm feeling the pink vibes, y'all. We're going to get this all pinked up on the eyelid, and then we're going to go in with a crease. But as you can tell as I'm applying this, can't you see the color is just amazing? I mean, this is really, really pretty, and it's very pigmented, which I love. You know, because sometimes... You'll dip into an eyeshadow palette and it's just like, well, this is meh, not doing much for me. But Viseart, even though they're expensive, this is an $80 palette, y'all. But even though it's expensive, the colors are phenomenal. And that's what I really, really like. Because if I'm going to spend that kind of money on a palette, I want it to show up on my eyeballs. So <laughs> I appreciate that so much when a palette can do what it says. And I like the palettes to, you know, give me the color that it's showing here because I think that's very important as well. So then I'm going to go in with a crease and I think I'm going to use, looking at the palette here, I'm going to use this kind of dark, oops, just dropped a brush. I'm going to use this kind of dark brown here and I'm going to do my eye technique dot there up here and we're gonna swish and then I might go back in with one of those fun pops of green or something because I'm just feeling like being a little little bit jazzy today having some fun sometimes it's nice to just have fun with your eyeshadow you know this is my uh, Sigma E40 tapered blending so again we're gonna blend these together and like I said the thing that's nicest about these kind of eyeshadows by Viseart is just that Whatever color you actually see in the pan, 
is the same color you get when you apply it on your eye. And I just think that's so important to an overall look, you know? You want it to be what you see is what you get type looks. I'm just blending this in and then I'm gonna go back in and kind of deepen things up and see what we can do here with this look. But yeah, I think that, um, I think Viseart's doing a wonderful thing. They've came out with some really pretty colors. They have some gorgeous purples. The Liaison palette by them is amazing. They came out with some new ones recently that I actually purchased and I'm anxious to try. They have some like really nice gold summery looks going on. So now that I've got that blended out, let me see here. I'm gonna go back in with my uh, Morphe M506 and I want to deepen the crease up just slightly over here. So I'm taking this, this is the darkest shade on the corner down here. I'm thinking it's kind of a, kind of like a bluish gray maybe. But I really want to deepen up that outer, outer V. Get a nice dark Get a nice dark crease going on right here. I love this Morphe M506 brush because as you can tell, that see how small it is? And you can get it to fit right in here so that you can blend this out without, I mean, to perfection. This is such an amazing brush because it, it just blends it out. I mean, it just, the thing that's nice about a brush like this is because it's so small, you have a lot of precision over where you're applying the product. And that's so important, especially for me, I need precision with eyeshadow because sometimes I struggle getting the perfect lines on there. So now, as you can tell, I've got that going. Now I want to go in and add a little bit of this green. I think this green here is really pretty. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that. I think kind of like right up in here. Just want to kind of overlap a little bit of the pink and add some of that green right here. I want to go back in with the green again and see if we can just kind of overlap a little bit right here in the corner. It just really has some nice, beautiful shades in this line. I mean, I just, I love them. And then let me see here. I might want to go in with this, kind of this deeper red. See if we can take just a little bit right here, just to amp. Looking in the wrong mirror here. I'm just amping up the pink a little bit here right on the bottom. So this is this a um, little bit darker berry shade and I'm wanting to kind of just amp up the corner and the lash line right here with that darker, that darker berry shade. See that is really pretty. I need to add just a little bit more here. Okay. All right. So now that I've got that done, I want to add a pop of the champagne right here in the inner corner. I think I need to use a different kind of brush for that. Let me try my Morphe M321. This is more pointed, so I'm going to go in with that lightest shade right here. And we're just going to pop a little inner corner there for some glam. That just kind of lightens things up nicely right here just like that and then I need to pop on a highlight underneath the brow I'm going to use my tapered blending e40 brush to put a another light champagne color right here under the brow 
That looks so nice. Just like that. So that's the finished look for the eyeshadow. Hope you enjoyed that look. And then I am going to use my Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner in black. And I'm gonna go ahead and eyeline this area. Same thing over here. Usually prefer a liquid eyeliner, but this is a pencil and they work too. And then, um, since I don't have my Lancome um, mascara right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Beautiful purple packaging here. And that way we can get some mascara going for this look. And then the last product will be a lip. I got this really gorgeous lip product to put on. Okie dokie, I'm just getting this on my lids, on my lashes, I should say. And then I'm going to dip back in and go to the other side. I really like that fun eyeshadow look. I just like the different pops of color I've got going on. I think that's fun sometimes. Kind of changes it up just from the natural, neutral, everyday wear to work look. But this really just kind of is fun. I don't always do color, but I do think it's fun. I think you can make a really fun glam look with it. All right, so now, now that I've got that applied, I'm gonna go in with my lip. And the lip shade that I'm using today is by Estee Lauder. This is a liquid lip, and this is in shade 109 Lacquer Lover. It's just kind of a pretty rose gold color. And I thought that would be pretty with this look. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this. And as you can tell, very shiny. And I love that. I just love a shiny look. I think it's so pretty. Very gorgeous. So that's the finished look, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you were able to um, maybe learn something new with that or just see how I applied all the products. I really had fun with this video and um, I enjoyed creating the look and just applying all of the high-end foundation and moisturizer was a lot of fun today. So I hope that you enjoyed this look and I can't wait to see you again in my next video. Bye.